In this Fix.com dishwasher buying guide, we're going to test out the most popular features in today's dishwashers. And with our resident appliance tech, Chris, break down all the pros and cons, give each feature a rating, and help you decide what's really worth it. Manufacturers are packing a lot of trendy features into their dishwashers nowadays, but reasonably priced units don't include everything. Features are mixed and matched across brands and models. So we bought four dishwashers from four different brands, each under $1,000, and they varied in price, features, finishes, and overall style. We'll put these dishwashers head to head, testing the following. Better washability, better drying, third rack systems, stainless steel tub interiors, hard food disposers, reduced noise levels, water and power efficiency, leak sensors, Wi-Fi control, steam cycles, and smudge and fingerprint resistant finishes. So do more features mean more value? Let's talk about what we found, starting with better washability. The spray arm design is the most important factor in washability, and more expensive dishwashers often come with more complex spray arms, with the claim you'll get cleaner dishes. The cheapest, most basic dishwasher we purchased has a lower and an upper spray arm. Nothing particularly fancy about them, they just spin and spray water. As you get up in overall complexity and price, you'll see some changes. For instance, in the fanciest model we tested, the bottom spray arm is split into four sections, two of which have shiny components on the end that swivel during the cycle. This is marketed as a way to clean hard to reach places between dishes. In some models, you may even see additional spray hardware, like a bonus spray arm protruding from the bottom back of the tub. These are meant to give extra cleaning power to pots, pans, and other heavily soiled items. In one model, there was even a smaller spray arm integrated with the main one, but spinning in the opposite direction. So will the more complex spray arm systems offer you a better wash? We covered a full set of dishes with our special chunky pasta sauce recipe and let it cake on overnight before starting the dishwashers. All the machines were set on their normal wash cycles so we could see apples to apples what each machine can do without engaging in any other special features. While running this test, we were also able to get data on power usage, water consumption, and noise levels. So keep watching to find out how the dishwashers stacked up against each other there. Let's see how each machine did, starting with the model with the fanciest spray arm design. It did really well, and you'd hope so considering the hardware here. All the dishes look well washed and there's really only very minor spots still stuck on. The similarly priced machines with varying spray arm complexity all did pretty well too. That brings us to our most basic, inexpensive model. Let's see what, if anything, it leaves behind on the dishes after a normal cycle. They're about as clean as the dishes from any of these dishwashers actually. Some food debris in two or three spots, but not bad at all. Looking pretty clean, deep in the glasses, between plates or bowls. The cutlery really looks clean too, save for a couple spots here or there. This makes it pretty clear that the fancier spray arm assemblies aren't necessarily worth the added expense. Our most basic dishwasher performed on par with a machine over twice the price. So brand new out of the box, all these machines did pretty darn well as far as cleaning goes. But the real test will be over time, how they stand up and how they last. So we're going to have to keep them for quite a while, possibly even up to a year, and do continual testing with them and see who comes out on top. So let's go over the pros and cons of better washability features like more complex spray arms. Pros. Fancy spray arms may help clean hard to reach spaces, but didn't outperform a basic dishwasher. Cons. Oscillating ends and other added spray arms are more potential point of failure when things go wrong. Without providing a very noticeable benefit, it may not be worth the added cost. Are the more complex spray arms a must have to improve washability? No, they don't seem to offer a noticeable difference, so why get fancy for no good reason? All right, now the dishes are clean, let's compare how dry they are once the cycle ends. Dishwashers across the board generally use a heating element to dry dishes. Some models have an exposed element under the bottom spray arm, and some have the element hidden from view. But that element creates heat to eliminate moisture and is the primary drying feature. More expensive dishwashers that tout better drying typically have the same heating element, but also add in a small circulation fan to move air around and promote drying. Others pop their door open after the cycle ends. Some pricier dishwashers, well above the $1,000 level, even use mineral chambers to absorb moisture and release heat. With our models under $1,000, we found that they all performed equally well. Our basic $400 dishwasher dried just as well using only its heating element as our $800 model that added in a circulation fan and the cool door pop. Both had some moisture left on glass and plastic items retained a lot of moisture in all of our machines. 
If you're looking to be able to take your dishes right from the dishwasher and put them in the cupboard without having to do anything additional to them, then you may very well have to invest into a machine that has those special features. And of course, you're going to be looking at an increase in price. Pros. They have the potential to improve drying, but our test didn't show a big difference. Cons. Special drying features use more components, meaning more points of failure. Circulation fans and other features may consume more energy long term. So are better drying features like fans and door pops a must have? We'd say not really. If you want a huge difference in drying ability, you'll likely want to spend quite a bit more money. All right, time to move on to the next feature worth discussing, third rack systems. This feature is a popular one and generally boasts the benefit of providing more space. While it definitely can be useful, is it worth whatever added cost comes with it? Our basic model doesn't come with a third rack, but the other three do. So we loaded all four machines with the same number of dishes and cutlery to see if there was any obvious benefit. We ended up being able to fit all of our dishes and cutlery into each machine without issue. Sure, the cutlery basket was more crowded in general without a third rack, but everything fit, and most importantly, everything came out pretty clean. We did find some bits and pieces of food stuck in the basket, but that was the case for the third rack systems as well. Overall, we didn't find a huge benefit. Let's do the pros and cons real quick. Pros. Gives you more placement options for a variety of items. It allows you to better space out cutlery than a basket alone. It gives items their own personal spa experience with a dedicated spray arm. Cons. It doesn't always get everything 100% clean. It takes longer to load properly than a basket. Added tracks, wheels, and spray arm are more potential points of failure than a simple basket. From our perspective, the third rack system is an okay feature, but does not change the game in terms of performance or convenience. If the dishwasher you like has one, great. But we wouldn't recommend shelling out extra cash just for the sake of a third rack. Okay, staying inside the dishwasher, let's chat quickly about stainless steel tub interiors. Exterior stainless steel finishes are very popular for their aesthetic, but do stainless steel interiors actually matter at all when we're talking about performance and quality, especially in comparison to a cheaper plastic finish? Our appliance tech, Chris, explains. So in our four test machines, three of them had stainless steel tubs. One was a plastic tub. There were some advantages we saw with the stainless steel, and that is the temperature of the tub heated up faster, it held the temperature better, but the biggest benefit was when it came to the dry cycle. The water inside would sheet off that stainless much, much quicker than it did on the plastic. The plastic tubs have a coating on them, and over time that coating will be eroded from it. And what you'll start to see is you'll start getting water being more clingy to the tub instead of it running off. So that's going to lengthen your dry cycle. The other thing that happens and we noticed it when we did our testing because we used a lot of pasta sauces, a lot of beta carotene in those pasta sauces, and that leaves a residue. On our stainless models, we wiped them down. We didn't find any residue hardly at all. But on our plastic one, just within the first wash cycle we did, we found that there was definitely a coating of that beta carotene, that's pasta sauce, left on the tub. So that's something you go to deal with plastic, but with stainless, you pay more, but that's one of the advantages. You know how your food storage containers get discolored if you keep pasta in them? Well, the same principle applies to your plastic lining in the dishwasher. Over time, this lining will get more and more residue buildup. While this doesn't really affect performance at all, you may want to opt for stainless steel interiors if aesthetics are a big factor for you. And in terms of noise, dishwashers with stainless steel interiors are generally quieter than those with plastic interiors. Pros. Can assist in better drying. They won't discolor over time, and they help reduce noise. Cons, they're more expensive than plastic. Is a stainless steel interior a must-have feature? With the noticeable differences over plastic, we'd say you should spend the extra money on this feature if you can. Let's keep things inside the wash tub for another feature, hard food disposers. Hard food disposers are marketed as a feature that grinds up food particles and sends them safely down your drain, eliminating the need to pre-rinse dishes before loading them into the dishwasher. Don't worry about pre-rinsing dishes. Thanks to a built-in stainless steel blade, that grinds food particles at 3,600 rotations per minute for a reliable clean with every cycle. Some manufacturers also claim that they're a maintenance-free alternative to dishwashers that use only filtration systems. It sounds like a fantastic feature that will make your life easier. Let's find out if that's true. Two of our test models had hard food disposers, but each did it a little differently, so we put both of them up against our fanciest model, which boasted an impressive filtration system. We threw some hard food in each machine and ran their cycles. The dishwasher with only a filtration system effectively filtered any food debris that could cause a clog in the system. No solid food had a chance to get down into the pump assembly, so the filter did its job beautifully, but will require a good cleaning. 
But how did the hard food disposers do? Did they chop all the food into tiny bits and shoot them down the drain, leaving us with a couple of clean dishwashers? One of our models, which enthusiastically markets this feature and costs around $900, also has a decent looking filtration system before the hard food disposers macerating blade. We found that the filter actually caught most of the hard food, but a good amount of food debris got past the filter and ended up just sitting below the filter assembly without ever going through the hard food disposer. This could cause bad smells, clogs, and poor washability if you don't clean it out. So, having this hard food disposer doesn't really seem to eliminate any maintenance. You still have a filter to clean, and potentially have to clean up below the filter as well to avoid issues. It's also worth mentioning that the macerating blade is amazingly tiny, leading our appliance tech to question how effective it even really is. That huge, big, sarcastically said, macerator blade is what they call their hard food disposer. Now onto our other model armed with a hard food disposer. It also has filtration before the macerating blade, but it's much more basic than either of the other dishwashers. It ended up catching all our large food debris as well, and no food got left over under the filter, meaning it worked just as well as the filtration system in our more expensive dishwasher. If any food does get through the filter though, the macerating blades on this model are actually larger and more robust, so they'd be likely more effective. All in all, it seems like hard food disposers don't really offer much of a difference, since you still have filters that are going to need regular cleaning. Let's hear from our repair tech on this one. Now in days of old, a hard food disposer was a fairly significant macerator blade being run by a powerful wash motor, and they did a fantastic job, very similar to your waste disposer under your sink. In today's world, in order to have that machine being more energy efficient, the power in motors has been reduced and the size of macerator blades or choppers is much less than they used to be. So with the performance we saw, I'm not so sure saying that it's a hard food disposer is not more of a marketing ploy or perhaps they just don't have the confidence in their filtration system that other manufacturers do. Hard food disposer or not, we still recommend scraping off your dishes before loading them into the dishwasher. It saves a lot of wear and tear and avoids possible clogs over time. Pros. If the filter works poorly, macerating blades could potentially prevent system clogs. Cons. You still require filter maintenance. Poor design can cause clogs in the pump assembly and drainage hose. And it can increase the noise of your dishwasher. Based on our testing, is a hard food disposer a must-have feature? Not at all. We'd recommend models that have really good filtration instead. Let's head back to our testing ground as we measure the noise level of our different machines and see if reduced noise is actually worth it. Frankly speaking, the cheaper dishwashers are going to be noisier than more expensive dishwashers for a couple of reasons. The pricier units have sound deadening materials built onto the outside of the units, whereas the cheaper ones don't. Stainless steel interiors in the more expensive dishwashers help to contain the sound, whereas plastic interiors, they're not as helpful. And regardless of price, if your dishwasher has a hard food disposer, that can make it noisier too. So, when you're looking around at dishwashers, you'll want to consider those factors. Our four different dishwashers had four different decibel ratings, so we thought it'd be worth it to check out their sound output while running other tests, giving us a real-world measurement. So you can see a measurable difference in noise levels between the dishwashers with sound deadening technology and your run-of-the-mill dishwasher with no measures taken. There's a lot of really quiet dishwashers out there today, but they usually come with a price tag. You can go with the noisier and less expensive dishwasher. You know, for about $75, you can add some sound deadening material before you install it and have it almost as quiet. And if you'd like to see a video on how to do that, let us know in the comments. Pros. Quieter operation for a peaceful home. Cons. They're more expensive. Is reduced noise a must-have? Well, it's another feature that will make a noticeable difference every single time you run your dishwasher. So if you have the room in your budget and value a quiet home, we'd recommend looking into a quiet machine or DIYing a solution for your noisy dishwasher. While we've got our testing meters out, let's talk about water and power efficiencies. If saving money in the environment is important to you, then water and power consumption should be something you look at when you're searching for a new dishwasher. Most dishwashers on the market today will perform similarly as they all follow the regulations set out for efficiency and are ENERGY STAR qualified. But higher end dishwashers often have more tools at their disposal to limit their energy and water consumption. That said, it's worth mentioning that when we tested our four different dishwashers in their respective normal cycles, the fanciest dishwasher actually consumed the most power and the most water, and not by a small margin either. Per year, the fanciest model would use 17% more energy than the most basic one, 
and 43 to 48% more energy than the other two models that are closer to its feature set and price range. And in terms of water consumption, it used almost 65% more water than the basic model, and between 70 and 100% more water than the other two models closer to its price range. We broke it from its chains of the normal cycle and ran it again in an auto cycle, but it somehow used even more energy than before, although it did use slightly less water. So if efficiency matters to you, make sure you're researching all the efficiency specs of any machine you're thinking of buying. You may assume that a bottom of the line dishwasher would be an energy and water hog, while all the more advanced ones are crazy efficient, but that apparently isn't the case. Pros, potential savings on your utility bill. Cons, may increase the complexity and number of components to improve efficiency. That creates more opportunity for failure and a higher cost to repair. Is efficiency a must have in today's dishwashers? We always champion environmentally friendly options, so efficiency is definitely worth the while. But again, don't make any assumptions and do your research before buying. On the subject of water efficiency, let's talk about potential water leaks in our next feature spotlight. When a leak does happen, it can be a real pain and leave a watery mess in your kitchen. So manufacturers will sometimes add a leak sensor that will identify the problem and shut the dishwasher down before it gets out of hand. The question you should be asking is whether or not a leak sensor is a worthwhile feature. We rigged up one of our pricier models to leak so we could see the leak sensor in action, while also rigging our inexpensive model with the same leak to see what the difference is. So the leak sensor does kick in and stop the mess, which could be a lifesaver. While it's not an absolutely crucial feature, it does act as an insurance policy should something go wrong. Having a leak in the machine with no leak sensor, water poured all over the floor. So now we got floor damage to consider. The other machine, the leak sensor worked perfect. Sensed the water in the tray, shut the machine off, pumped it out, no harm, no foul. So it's like buying insurance. Is it worth the money or not? That's your call. But a dishwasher that leaks on the floor, you can have a huge amount of money being invested in floor damage, wall damage, and heaven forbid you've got an apartment or something down below you that floods as well. As compared to the more expensive machine, that's going to protect your home with a leak sensor. You decide if there's value in that. But also keep in mind that the leak sensor model doesn't sense the connection where your water line attaches to the valve. So you've got to make sure that whoever installs it makes that connection really well because the leak sensor won't protect you for the mat. Pros, it prevents big headaches from unnoticed leaks. Cons, typically increases the purchase cost. This is a feature that you'll likely not ever notice until it saves you from disaster. From our perspective, this feature is a must have. All right, so we've covered a lot of functional features, but let's get into a feature more and more home appliances are incorporating, Wi-Fi control. From our perspective, this feature can be quite useful and very interesting for a specific type of person. If you prefer to start the dishwasher, walk away, and not think about it again until it's time to unload, the Wi-Fi features may not be for you. However, if you like to have strict control over settings while also monitoring progress and efficiency, Wi-Fi control may be right up your alley. Our more expensive dishwasher comes with this feature, and we played around with the app. We can monitor how much time is left on the cycle, we could select features, download custom cycles, and monitor monthly power usage. It came with a guide on how to clean your dishwasher and offered a virtual diagnostic tool along with one-to-one -one support. In fact, you could even visit this manufacturer's website and chat with a rep who would help walk you through troubleshooting, which, if it helps solve a problem, could save you money on a repair tech. In our opinion, Wi-Fi control through a dedicated app does hold the potential for good value, but you need to be the kind of person who would dive in and actually use it. Being tech literate is also key here. If you have trouble navigating apps or if you prefer a simpler hands-off approach, Springing for a Wi-Fi enabled machine is likely not worth it. It's worth mentioning that manufacturers are reporting 50% or less of customers are actually connecting their Wi-Fi enabled appliances to the internet. So it's obviously not a feature that people are falling in love with. Pros, can monitor cycle information and change settings. You can download customized cycles and there's diagnostic information and support when things go wrong. Cons, requires a tech savvy person or the willingness to learn. While this feature isn't crucial to get your dishes clean, it can be pretty helpful 
and potentially save you money if you take full advantage of it. We'd recommend it, but if you don't have it in the budget, you can just download our free fix.com app and input your model number for help. Now that we've talked a bit about different and customized cycles, this is as good a time as any to go over the final feature we tested, Steam Cycles. This feature claims to better handle stuck on messes that would otherwise be a pain to clean, as well as aid in the drying process. Two of our dishwashers came with a steam function while two did not. To test how well the steam works, we dirtied four casserole dishes with a sticky dried on mess and put one in each machine. To our surprise, all four machines did a pretty great job at removing the stuck on mess. We were really blown away by our $400 dishwasher's performance. To be thorough, we dirtied up some white roasting pans with more stuck on messes and loaded them in each machine for another test. On this round, we found that the higher end dishwashers with the steam function and fancy spray arms did in fact remove the most mess. The lower end dishwasher didn't perform as well this time, but did make hand scrubbing a lot easier than it would have been. Is it a make or break in which machine you're going to buy? We're not so sure. Based on our testing, the steam feature did work, but we found almost as good a washability from the other machines. So you'll have to decide whether you want to make that extra investment. Pros, it helps clean stuck on messes and it can help promote drying. Cons, you added costs that may not be worth it to you. So if the dishwasher you want happens to come with steam, that's a bonus. But should you go out of your way to get it or pay hundreds of dollars more for it? Based on our tests, no, it just doesn't have that much added benefit. Last but not least, let's talk about a feature that is purely aesthetic, but still important. Smudge resistant exterior finishes. This comes as an added feature to some, but not all models with a stainless steel finish. Its goal is to further minimize the effort you need to put into cleaning and maintenance. No finger marks or grease smudges, no need to wipe it down. We put two dishwashers side by side, one with and one without a smudge resistant finish. The difference wasn't absolutely mind blowing, but there was a visible difference. The smudge resistant feature to me, to us, it's one of the best features available for your dishwasher or any appliance. Saves you from having to waste your time cleaning it off on a regular basis or daily basis. Pros, keeps the dishwasher looking clean. Cons, generally not available on lower end dishwashers. Yet another feature that will be evident to you every single day, so we'd say this one is really worth it. So to wrap things up, all the pros and cons we put together are meant only to help you in your decision making process. We understand that the needs of each individual household are different, and so we hope we've given you valuable insight when choosing your next dishwasher. If you have any questions about the features that we've tested or would like to see us run more tests on these or any other features that weren't included in this video, please comment and let us know. We'd be happy to help. We put a link in the video description to our free fix.com app. So check it out, input your appliances and get repair videos, owner manuals, recall checks, and so much more. Thanks for watching.